Okay, so I wanted to show you real quick what this looks like before I trim it. So I did all four borders, but I want to make an even border because I'm thinking I might want to stick something on the inside. So I just cut a piece of paper that I knew, like I found a piece of paper that I knew was super even. And I am laying it on here and then I'm just checking, like eyeballing the border because I want to leave a border over here because this is where the hole is going to be. So I'm kind of pretending that that's not really there. And I'm trying to make it as even as possible. And then I'm using my needle tool to gently follow the paper. Oops, don't let the paper move. So I'm gently following the paper. Go all the way around, almost. And then I'm gonna pull off the extra. So that way it's got like a nice even border. So I'm just gonna like cut it. And I know like I haven't baked it yet or anything. So I'm just gonna kind of use my needle tool to kind of pull this off. Now this is all super gluey. You can keep it if you want to, or you can just throw it away, depending on what color you used and whether you think you're gonna need a lot of that color and stuff. You can just throw it away if you want to. Um, but really the glue doesn't actually hurt it. It just, you know, like it's just messier when you try to mix it because um, it'll be kind of slightly wetter. And you can see how like once I kind of get it going, once I get it released, I can kind of peel it back. Wee! And be like, yay! Okay. And don't worry about this glue on the inside because the glue on the inside um, and if you get a little bit of like fuzz or whatever from the board, like if you poke too hard into the board, don't worry about that either because you're just going to cover it up with clay. Yay. All right. The glue, don't sweat it. It's fine. Mostly you can leave it. Just kind of like make sure it's not super bumpy because you can always add extra glue later if you need to. But so now I have a really nice even border. So if I wanted to do something like I was showing you with like the curly cues and stuff, or if I want, had a, a slab that I had made with, um, I had done the uh, canes and I wanted to put canes inside here, then I could make it really nice and flush, right? Because I could take like the cane and push it up against the side and, you know, have a really nice little, little doodad here. So... Anyway, so now I would bake it. Make sure that you watch the video, follow the directions for baking it because you don't want to bake it too hot. That's the biggest deal. You can put this wood board in the oven, but it has to stay at, you know, a lower temperature so it doesn't get too stinky. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody.